and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, then I'm Sam. I'm mum of two, Elise, who is two years old, and Elliot, who is nearly six months old. I've got both the kids here today, and we've been very ill this week, full of colds, so they're both very clingy and a bit whingy. So wish me the best of luck for this video. But I thought I'd just film one that I've wanted to film for a while, and it's a... What's that face? It's a pretty short video, which is going to have to be having these two little darlings crying at me every two seconds. Okay, so this video is going to be baby names that I love but won't be using. Um, me and Danny have took the decision that two is definitely more than lucky for us. We weren't expecting to have one baby. We're very set on having these two. And we probably won't be adding to our little brood in the future. Okay, this is proven quite challenging, so we're just going to crack on. So, first we'll do girls' names. The first girl's name that I absolutely love... Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so the first girl's name that I absolutely love but will not be using is Esme. I really like this. I think it's such a pretty name. It really is. I think if I'm right in thinking there's somebody in Twilight called Esme and I think that's where I heard the name and really liked it. The next girl's name that I love and I wanted this for Elise was Georgie. Um, but Danny wasn't too keen and I just thought she would look so cute with little blonde pigtails. This is how I pictured that. Little blonde pigtails um, in the summer with a little dress on, little sandals. And yeah, I just really think that's such a pretty name, Georgie, for a little girl. Um, but he wasn't so keen and we compromised in the end and her name is Elise Georgia. So I did get it in there a little bit. My dad's name's George, so I wanted it incorporated somehow within a name. So that's how we got away with um, doing that. But he wasn't happy with Georgie just being her first name. Then the next name that I love for a girl, and this was probably going to be Elliot's name if he was a girl, is Molly. I really think this is such a pretty name. It's gorgeous. And it goes with so many middle names that I found. There was loads of middle names that I, I like the sound of with with Molly um, but obviously he was a boy and then my mum adopted a dog a couple of months later and her name's Molly. The next girl's name that I absolutely loved but again Danny wasn't so keen. These last two actually are names that I really liked for Elise. Danny wasn't happy with them. The first one is Bobby spelt B-O-B-B-I and then the final name that I love for a little girl is Ray spelt R-A-E. I think it's such a lovely, pretty, girly name. Then moving on to boys' names. So this first one was going to be Elisa's name if she was a boy, and it's Ellis. It's pretty similar. Um, we would have had it for a boy when we had Elliot, but obviously Elise and Ellis, they just sounded a little bit too similar for us. Um, but we both loved the name. We really did. You want kisses? We both really love that name. The second name was one I wanted for Elise if she was a boy and Danny put his foot down straight away and said no, it was Roman. I really like that name, I think it's so cool for a little boy and especially he would have been Roman Rimmer because that's Danny's Roman surname. Name. And yes, like Elise has just said, there's a wrestler called Roman Reigns so that was sort of the hype around that name at the, at the time. My nephew was obsessed with the wrestling so I think that's where that sort of came from, I think, a little bit. So the next name that I like for a little boy is Fraser. I think it's such a a nice, a really nice sounding name. Um, you'd have to think, I think, have the right surname for it to for it to go well. Um, Fraser Rimmer. That, yeah, that's got a little bit of a ring to it. Um, but yeah, I do really like that name. So the next name is Jensen for a little boy and I absolutely love this name. I've loved it for so long but before I thought about having babies or kids or baby names, my auntie had two Westies and they were called Jake and Jensen 
and that for me was always his name and then I'm really into the Formula One and it just reminds me of Jensen Button I think that's actually where my auntie's dog got a name from and then the final name that I really like for a little boy oh. is Jackson spelt J-A-X-O-N um, again I think it's just a really cool name um, there's nothing else I can really say on that I think Emily Norris has a little boy called Jackson and every time I watch her video and hear her saying his name it's, oh, it just sounds so cool, it's lovely, I really like that name. So they are all the names that I've got on my list. Five girls, five boys, names that I won't be using because we will not be pregnant again. As these two are proven, so much of a handful at the minute, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Please let me know what your favourite names are below. If you're pregnant, if you've chosen a name for your baby. Or just if you've got kids in general, pop their names down below and let us all see, share and give all these mummy to bees a little bit of inspiration because I know I loved watching these videos when I was pregnant with both of my two to get some ideas. So just pop your suggestions down below and let's help all these mummy to bees out and I will see you all in my next video. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was probably a little bit short and a little bit all over the place with these two. So we're going to wrap it up here. Don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And there's a bell you can press next to the subscribe button. That'll just tell you every time I put a new video up, which we upload on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Sunday. And for us, for now, we are going to say goodbye and get these two wriggly bums some dinner, aren't we? So we'll say bye for now. Say bye. Come and say bye-bye. Nope, she's gone. <laughs> Bye.